All right, so today I decided that I want to make a video um, of doing like a DIY, but like a little bit more serious DIY, I guess. Like as serious as like I can get. Okay, so I started off with a large piece of leather. I cut that down to this workable size that would be like for a bracelet. Um, I used this tool to do that. It's a rotary cutter. Anyways, this, this is what you're gonna cut it into and you're gonna use um, a little um, like a stamp type device that's gonna like poke the little holes out from here. This, this is the device that I'm talking about. It's a little tool, you just press down. I'm not gonna like do it on here, but I'll like do it over here. And you just like press down and you just keep doing it. Eventually it'll make a hole. Okay, so then, you know, you use that, that tool, you would do all these little holes. I just did these um, because I wanted to make mine. You can see that it has like this black part where they go into the holes. Yeah, that's just to like keep the rainbow thread, like the colored thread into in the center of the leather band. So then after we do that, we put, we will thread it. Um, I used, so I just used thre black thread just like this. Um, it's kind of thick and it's a little waxy. Um, it's normally what you would use. It's a type of thread that you would use for leather. And I used um, this um, hooked like leather needle. This is what your, your end result would be from that. See, so I already threaded all of those holes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my colored thread that I already cut and it's a little bit longer at the ends. Um, so that way it can wrap around. If I take this off, you can see that. I'll actually just grab one that I already have since I have a bunch of them right now. And you can see like I have that threaded underneath these parts, these like bands. Okay, so. What I will do is, normally what I do is I wet these first so that way it's easier to like mold them, like kind of like put them on and then like bend them over because otherwise they're stiff and it's just like kind of difficult. Also before that, um, while it's still actually in this stage, I used, you don't have to, but I used this matte acrylic finisher. It just gives it like this nice... Well, basically this. It, see how it's like kind of shiny? Um, it, it just is this finisher that will help to protect the leather from scratches and stuff like that. Uh, it also gave it a little bit of a darker um, color to it. So, I mean, it's definitely not necessary, but I decided to go with that since I have it. Okay, so the colored threads are wet now and I already put it in order of the rainbow. Now all I'm, go I'm going to do is just like take these rubber bands and I'm going to like secure the um, thread so that way it doesn't like move around and stuff while I'm putting the main thread that's gonna like be holding it down. So I'm just gonna take it like that, make sure it's like nice and neat and I'm going to put these little rubber bands on. Just like this. Alright, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Just make sure that they're like straight and not like getting going crazy and then do the same thing that's it then all right now we'll go to the back now i'm gonna take this thread i need a lot of it like probably more than what you think i'm just gonna keep pulling because like it, it actually takes a bit uh that might be okay all right, and now we're just gonna start right up here. And then you just wrap it around. So you're holding it and then wrapping it around. It's actually, this part is really easy. It like seems kind of like it might be difficult, but it's not, it's really easy. You just wrap it around. <laughs> Sorry if I'm flinging this thing all around the camera. Then you take the hook, the needle, and you go behind the thread that's still connected to the spool. You go behind that, you go under carefully between the color thread and this black thread. And you also like make sure, you wanna make sure that this thread is like also not like, um, you're not going in between these two pieces of thread. You're just going like behind it. Cause otherwise it can just like make it weird and just pull. And there's like, again, a lot of thread, but just pull and like, it should be fine. And then tighten. And then now we are going to continue. So I'm gonna pull this down 
and stop about there so that way it's still holding on to the, the thread and then right here where the holes are at do you see them right in there so in between there there's like a little bit of space and I'm just gonna wrap around there again just like last time except you don't have to do it as like insanely as many like as many times like you don't have to wrap it around as many times because it's it's just like it's more decorative I mean it is holding it down but like it doesn't it's not as crazy as, as the main one and also at the end the end one also has to be kind of thick and then just tighten that okay Okay, you can take this off now, and we can cut this off of the spool. We need to like kind of fix it up a little bit. Move the color thread so that way it's in the center. Cause like, it, it, it's still kind of, it could have gotten messed up a little bit. Mine did. You can also, and you probably should, it's just like if you have excess thread, like over here it's fine, it's actually really nice and neat, but up here it's kind of messy and you know it's also like poking out on the side, so just cut that. Alright, so now is pretty much the last stage. We um, have these two ends like crossed and we are going to take this like, it's about 7 inches long like separate. separate. Uh, thread but I can't talk right now and um, we're just gonna like make a tiny loop and now we're gonna like just put that right over the center and then from there we are going to take the loose end like the tail of that and we are going to just wrap that around like be careful about this part because like you don't want to get it tangled you want to make sure you're keeping an eye on everything and you're just wrapping around like maybe like three loops at the most okay and so just go around keep them loose because you're gonna have to go back through it um at the end because this is like the knot that makes it where um it can like be tightened so it's like an adjustable knot and like my shadow is like not casting very good shadows right now so it's like making it probably difficult for you to see sorry about that um i'm just gonna try to describe it as best as possible because it's kind of hard to do this and like focus on how the camera looks so like i just threaded the um tail through the loops i made about three loops this is like the little end we're gonna pull that at the end but like right now i'm putting the little tail through and then remember like the first loop that we made i'm just gonna take that I'm gonna grab and pull through there. Okay, and so everything is looking crazy right now. But I'm gonna pull, like, do you see, like, I'm pulling both sides slowly, ho hoping for the best. Because sometimes it doesn't always pan out the best. But, um, sometimes it does. But I'm just gonna keep pulling slowly, slowly, hoping that it comes out nice. And it looks like it's coming out okay. Alright, so I think it's good. We're gonna test it by like, I'm not gonna cut anything yet, but I'm gonna like take the two sides and see. And it looks like it worked. See, so now I can like tighten it, 
and I can use that. And we can also change the sizes of this because, like, you know, these are really long. We can cut some of them, some of that. But we do also want to make sure that you know don't cut too much because you want to make sure that you're cutting to the right size of your wrist so that way it still fits. You also um, want to leave a little bit anyways, even if um, you know you have a larger wrist and you you have like the thread hanging off because you want to be able to grab it. Like see on this one on mine, let me like so um, let me like back up a little bit and put some better light on that. Even though it's like nighttime, probably shouldn't have been video taking this video. But anyways, so in order to tighten, I can like hold it with one hand and then like pull. It. Um, that wasn't a very good example. But let me like undo it, hold it, and then pull. And see, it tightens it. That way, like, you don't need help tightening them. You can just do it yourself. So I kind of tend to keep them a little bit longer. If you don't like that, you can just cut it. So this one, I'm going to tie a knot. So that way, this one doesn't come undone. Do this very easily. Come on, dude. Hurry the fuck up. People will probably like, wow, what is wrong with this guy? He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. No, I don't. I really don't. And now with these, um, do the same thing. Um, what you can also do, and you know what? Maybe I might do it. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But I'll just show you guys. You, what you could do is add little cute beads or something or like little charms at the end um, and that's super you know that'd be really nice you know you don't want something too heavy because then it will be uncomfortable to wear but you know it is also it would be nice to have that because then you can like grip onto it when you're tightening it and adjusting the strings but um, I'm probably not gonna do that because I have different plans for these beads but that's definitely something you can think about when you're making your own bracelet. So I'm just gonna add this little knot right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. And I'm gonna make sure that they're cut at about the same length on each side. So that way it's not like weird. Well, yeah. So I'm just gonna cut. Let me like move this over. So I'm just gonna cut like maybe right here. And I think that's good. And so now you've done it. You've created a pride rainbow bracelet. You just hold on to that. I hold on and then I'm gonna hold on to this and we're gonna pull together as a unified family. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> okay. And let that drape down. Yay! How cute is that? Fuck, we did it! See, like this wasn't too hard, right? Like that wasn't freaking difficult. Like Right? <sighs> okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, yeah, we did that. We made that bracelet. Congratulations. Hooray. So, thank you for watching. Um, it was probably difficult. First of all, it was probably difficult seeing my damn face because, like, I look horrible right now. I had a really bad breakout. But, you know, that's, uh, that's part of being, um, you know, showing myself to you guys. Trying to be open about who I am, about all of what I am, I guess. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope that this was actually a good video. Sorry if it was weird. Maybe it might have been too fast paced, but I, I, I hope that you actually like liked me like putting this together. And sorry if it's too bad. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm just gonna... Okay, but anyways. Seriously, besides like what's going the mess on my face right now. Um, yeah, so hopefully you liked this bracelet. Hopefully you learned how to make it. If you have any questions, like just like I guess leave a comment and I'll try to like reply back to it. I mean, I should be able to, it's not that big of a deal. And uh, yeah, and I'll help you guys on your journey of making this fucking fabulous pride bracelet. God, I can't talk. Alright, bye! <laughs>